on the south side, two times for the west and the east coast. Two times for the poles and the snake shit. Lot of hot tips, gotta do the people. Put the sand where they at, they ain't wanna shit. Too divine and intertwined with the beat though. They can't take nothing from me. Uh, nah. One time. Yo, what's good, Macho Sports? Flex. It's your boy Sway checking in. It's your boy JP. It's your boy Zay checking in here. Tree good. Tree. Smell my feet. Says <laughs> Morton. Man, this, this guy, bro. J. A. Morton. Go ahead, man. Reveal yourself to the whole league. He, he, he. What do you think about this guy, bro? You really think he gonna make a run for the MVP? Who, who did you say? J. A. Morant is John Morant. John Morant. Well, whoever Morant. spelled his John name, Morant. I mean, I don't know how to pronounce J A. Ja Morant. It's John Morant, bro. Yeah. Hey, man, he he had a really good game against the Warriors the other day, bro. Gave uh the Warriors. I think it's their first, no, not the first loss of the season. I think it was the second loss of the season. No, first. It was the first loss of the season. Yeah. So shut down the. I mean, well, he didn't shut down the Warriors. Both. I mean, Curry had a good game too, but John Morant just had a better game than Mer- than than Curry. It was a great duel. I don't know if y'all watched the game, but that was a really good game. It's fun. It's, it's, they're it's, both. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, they're, they're both averaging about thirty. Yeah. For the season, so that they're both the top score in the league. So top, I mean, top I, two I, candidates for MVP. They both. Uh, Jerome Moran went with thirty <coughs> points, seven rebounds, five assists, uh, and four steals, and then Curry had thirty six points, eight assists, seven rebounds. And seven three-pointers. Three pointers. Yeah, man. They're right up there with uh, Giannis, Durant, and uh, Joker. Yeah. Right up there with the MVP run. They're both some of the highest scoring, most electrifying players right now. I mean, do, do you know of any other ones, Jose, besides those five I just named? Uh, who, who, do you know any of the next five right here coming up? Man, uh, uh, Rudy Gobert is actually uh, doing pretty good with the Utah Jazz, bro. Um Go yeah. Bears, go Bears up there. You know what I'm saying? And you can't forget my man Anthony Davis. Yeah. Yeah. Late show. We'll, we'll late maybe show. talk about him later it's, again. The MVP talks. You talking about late show, bro? Have you been watching the game? What, they finally won a game. Yeah, they they finally started coming in. They they, they getting a little parking. Rusty, I mean, Russell is looking all right now. Uh, but really, Carmelo. Yeah, Carmelo. Carmelo, Carmelo for the Lakers. Oh, no, I'm mistaken. That's without LeBron, right? Mm. No, nah, LeBron. LeBron came back. Right. He came back already? Yeah. Okay, because I know he was injured for that one game. Uh, he was out for like two games. Yeah. Yeah, man. But let me give you another one uh, who's really electrifying. I, I really like this guy. My, uh, uh, Miles Bridges with the Hornets. Getting all them dunks from uh, LaMelo. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I think LaMelo has a lot to do with that. <laughs> you know, the alley-oop and his shit, you know. Lamelo uh, Lamelo is a pure one of those pure basketball players. Oh yeah, he got. You know what I mean? He's not. I don't think he's like his brothers. Honestly, Lamelo's different. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna give it to uh, um, Lavar. He did call out and said uh, that he was gonna be the best one. Yeah. He was like, no, nah, but Lamelo. He, he said yeah. he's gonna be Lamelo's the best one. one of the pure basketball players. Honestly, he reminds me a lot of. Uh, uh, I would say kind of like a Damian Lillard type player. Lamelo is good, wow. but he's not his. He's not even top ten MVP talk. So I don't want to hear this guy. Who? Lamelo. Bro, no, we were saying I was saying I was Bridges, but he was saying Lamelo yeah, no, well, was I mean, a big it, part of that. That's cool. I get that. I mean, he's not in the top MVP talks, but he's doing a lot for his team to win. I agree. And then he got some, he got some kill shot. I see. I was watching the game the other day. He he was busting so, some but, threes. But, but you yeah. can't say that though. Uh, Lonzo's doing his thing up there in Chicago. Oh yeah, Lonzo's brother. Again, it's the team that's around him. Hey, Adam Le- uh, uh, Adam Levine. Uh, Zach Zach Levine's honestly the heart of that team. Yeah. Of the Bulls, if you ask me. But the and then Caruso's Rose, is looking the, good the too. With that team. Caruso, bro. Caruso, Caruso's been looking good since he was yeah, with that. Yeah, I don't know why the Lakers let him go. Oh, I guess he's just young. He's a young guy, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, another ge- another uh, to finish off uh, another two. Uh, Jason Tatum with the Boston Celtics. He's been looking good. I know he made the flex moment with that dunk, and then uh, Trey Young still there with Atlanta. Yeah, man. Yeah. Trey Young looking. He, he, I I think he should be up a little more. You think so? Yeah. 
Do you know what I mean? Why do you say that? I, I, I think I think he he brought his game up. I think I think he should be above Jason Tatum. But uh, again, also like I said, it also pertains to the teams that are winning. They're winning. If he, if he, how many games are they? What's the standings? I don't I don't think I don't think Atlanta's up there. Right? Are they above five hundred? I don't think that. I think they're at five hundred, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, they're at five hundred. Yeah, three, three and three. So I mean, like I said, it goes it goes by the teams that are winning. If you go back and look to the uh, MVP uh, conversations or whatever, like the Lakers, why is Anthony Davis should be number four because he's balling? You know what I'm saying? Well, but since the Lakers are losing, that's why he's at number seven. Well, then in the give, give me a, give me another deep sleeper, Jose. Who, who's a deep <laughs> deep sleeper that we ain't even no one's even mentioning right now? But size Tyler Harrell, which is not top ten. Man, <laughs> Kate Cunningham, the number one pick, wow, had a really, really good game Man, the other night in his debut. Bro, have you not seen Green from the Rockets? Yeah, Jalen Green's been doing good, but... That's rookie of the year, bro. Okay, all right. <laughs> Kate Cunningham had a really good game to help his team win the other day. How many wins do the Rockets got? Again, like I said, it, wins matter uh, at the end of the day. I'm pretty sure they at least one night, too. <laughs> Yeah, man. There's a bunch of uh, rookies out there looking good. It wasn't just uh, Green. And I'm wrong. They're one and four. That's what I'm saying. So, again, what the wins mean? matter. The Rockets have only won one game all season, bro. Yeah, but this is like a, it's a whole brand new team. They fresh out of college. They got to jail with each other. I get that. Yeah. But I just, like I said, I think Cade Cunningham, honestly, um, is going to make a difference over there. But the future leaves bright in Houston. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Oh, really, Ken? Because you were calling me out the other day, and that's what I was trying to tell you. Well, no, nah, I, I, but, I, but I said Jalen Green was good, though. I know. Yeah, I, I picked him as my rookie of the year. Yeah, I'm telling you. Uh, I think we, the rebuild so, is going to be real in Houston. Sounds like Sway's becoming a Rockets fan again. No, I mean, I, I mean, I, I <laughs> you mean. You can't cut the. They, they, I, I know they ain't going to win no championship, so, I mean, I mean, it, I'll still watch them, though. Like I might go to the game when they play the Lakers, and you know there's gonna be a lot of more Laker fans. Man, speaking of fans. speaking of rebuild, bro, and, and, and Center at that. How 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 the Milwaukee Bucks allowed the Spurs to come in and beat them in Milwaukee? I don't know. You gotta tell the Greek freak that. How does that happen? And I got that maybe somebody was injured. I look at the box score and, and no, the, the whole team played. Both the Tetacupos were out there. <laughs> what? Both of the Tetacumpos were out there. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Both of the Tetacumpos. Man, that's a tongue twister. If y'all could do that, send it in, guys. <laughs> hey, hey, um, but Utah, man, Utah was on the field too. Yeah, they were. They were on the field last night. Them boys lost. Oh, yeah, bro. To the high bulls. The bulls. No more, no more undefeated teams. I'm telling you, man, I, 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 I said the bulls earlier, and I, I like them for this year. Actually, um, guys, it was the other way around. The Bulls lost their undefeated streak to the Utah Jazz. Nah. Wasn't it the other way around? Did, weren't nah. the Bulls the ones that were still undefeated? Nah, it was Utah, bro. Utah was the last team standing. Really? Hey, hey, hey uh, Until last night. Uh, when the show ends, Jose, uh, send me your plugs number, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we no, use the same one. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, another team surprising, though, is the New York <clears throat> Knicks. They put, they, put, they put a hurt on the... They put that. They beat the the game before that. They beat the Bulls by one. It was one hundred four to one hundred three. Hmm. But they, talking about the New York Knicks, uh, I think uh, uh, Julius Randle having a good season, and then uh, you got Derrick Rose coming back, leading that bench off with a good numbers. Like uh, matter of fact, uh, R. J. Barnett had a career high last night with thirty five points. Against the Pelicans, they won 123 to 117. He had 35 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, 12 from 18 from the uh, field field range. And then he had a – he was 6 for 8 at three-pointers. That was a pretty good game from him. Yeah, R.J. Bear has been balling, bro, to be honest with you. He's had a pretty good, you know, decent games, uh, past couple games for the Knicks, bro. Um been one of their key pieces, obviously, you know. Uh, Man, but did y'all see the, the other day uh, the Washington uh, Wizards beat Miami Heat? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did see that. 
I mean, it's a long season. I mean, if they can beat him more than one time, then. But but no nobody expected uh, Washington to be so good. I mean, it's not that Washington was good. Miami just had a bad night. If you ask me. I mean, uh, Kyle Kuzma's over there in Washington, and then you got. Uh, Kyle Kuzma's their best player. Nah, he's not. It's Bradley Bill. Yeah. Bradley Bill was actually going off the other night. Was he? Yeah. Bradley yeah. Bill's there. Then they got that dude from Brooklyn, Spencer or something. Doesn't Isn't Bradley Bill going to be a free agent at the end of the season? Yeah, but I think he's going to stay in Washington. You think he's going to stay in Washington? I think he gets traded. I think he gets traded, honestly, before the deadline. Yo, I was thinking the same thing. Mm-hmm. Nah, shit, not the one they're playing. They're second and they're like one of the top three teams in the in the Eastern Conference. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's actually it's actually kind of crazy. The uh, they're they're top two. The uh, Knicks and Wizards are actually leading the uh, the division standings in uh, the conference standings. I mean, in the East, so it's they're it. sitting on top of the East. It's crazy, you know. I mean, uh, it's, it's a long it. season, guys. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, but I I don't know. Uh, Knicks and Wizards could be one of those top teams that you know come out of the. Are you listening to yourself? Uh, Knicks and Wizards, one of the top teams that could finish this year. Yeah. Man, if Damn, it, that that's it a says, bold statement, Jose. Man, say if the playoffs were to start today, uh, in the Eastern Conference, it would be the New York Knicks, Chicago Bulls, Washington, Miami, the Hornets, Philly, Toronto, and Milwaukee. Brooklyn wouldn't even qualify for the playoffs. Right? See, Bro- saying, actually, like actually, this. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, and Atlanta. It, 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 the NBA has that playing tourney this year. Remember? Oh yeah, they yeah, started that playing tourney. Yeah, so now the, yeah, the yeah. last four teams were going to go yeah. against each other. Yeah, they, I forgot about that. So right. Brooklyn so can still make it, yeah, bro. They can still make it. I yeah. forgot about that. So it's at least at least the top ten teams that make it to the playoffs. This mm-hmm. year. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, and over in the Western Conference, man, Golden State sitting up top. Then you got the Utah Jazz. Then you got the Denver Nuggets. And then you got Dallas Mavericks. And then you got the Sacramento Kings. Sacramento surprised me this year, honestly. Oh, man. Bro. Oh, but, but, man. man. Buddy, you know how Buddy Howe was in that trade that's supposed to be with the Lakers this summer? Yeah, what happened? Man, this guy, I mean, he's going off this year. He's going and off for the they, Kings. They, they, I, heard, I heard they're going to try and trade him, though. Still? Oh, man. I mean... I don't know. It, it, honestly, like you said, Sway, it's the whole deal with the Wizards, too. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if they're sitting up top of the West like that or sitting, you know, sitting top five, like, you know, why, why would you? But I mean, it's only a few weeks in. That's that's the thing to me. It's only a few weeks in. You can't really judge it. You got to. Maybe it would be a crazy trade. You never know. I mean, honestly, look, think about it like this. Nobody thought Phoenix was going to be the number one seed last year. Right. 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 Nobody thought Phoenix was going to make it to the finals. Right. Nobody thought Milwaukee was going to win the finals. Right. Everybody was like Nets and Lakers. So it could be the surprise it, team. It, exactly. I, I, I'm calling the Bulls. And I don't then, know. Then I, I, they, they, they I like them from their beginning. Well, I, I think I said Golden State and Heat. Yeah, you in were the finals only, this year. I'm, I'm, I know I'm a Rockets fan, but I, I'm like I said, I'm, I know we were rebuilding, so I don't think championship this year. But I, yeah. I'm gonna say the Bulls is a team that I'm. I, you got to look out for in the playoffs. So. And I mean, if I have to give a team for the Western, that's, I'll give a shock team in the Western side. Um, I'm gonna go with the uh, the Pelicans. I don't think they're gonna end at the. I don't think they're gonna end at the very bottom. The Pelicans. The Pelicans, bro. The Pelicans are garbage. Yeah, bro. I know. Come on. Mm-hmm. They're they're without Zion. Williams. Without Zion, and they're gonna get it together without Zion, bro. But after after Sacramento Kings, I'm gonna go. How long is Zion out for? Is, is Portland Portland's up next? Zion's out for like half the season. Jeez. Right. So the, the 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 coach job is on the line. So uh, the best. Players, that's why I think the they're gonna come together. Their, the best player on their team is Brandon Ingram. Well, well, look, like I said, it's a bold prediction. I told you it's going to be a shocker team. And uh, so I'll start from shocker? the bottom. Little my, legit. My shocker? Yeah. The Thunder. That's actually who I was going to go with first. The but Thunder. Yeah, the Thunder. The Thunder actually came back yeah. and beat the Lakers recently. It was like a 17-point. <laughs> It's gonna be a good. Game. It's gonna be a good season for sure, bro. I mean, there's a lot of games this year. Um, you know, uh, we have. Uh, do you, are, are the fans back in the back in the courts? Yeah. 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 So man, man so that's that's gonna change the energy, obviously, because obviously last year they didn't have any fans in the courts. You know what I mean? None of that stuff. Uh, up until like the end of the season, if I'm not mistaken, you know. So that's also, I mean, that, that's all gonna play into effect. You know what I mean? Like, 
the fan experience and stuff like that that's all coming back you know what i mean so um going back to normal guys you know what i mean uh it's gonna be a good season uh who do you guys uh think is gonna win mvp who do you guys think gonna come out on top this year what conferences are gonna win the finals this year Mm, man i mean i know it's halloween night we actually got a good games tonight uh there's the Sacramento Kings versus the Mavericks. You got the Bucks taking on the Jazz too. E- That's also a good matchup. Blazers versus Hornets. Eh, I mean, Dame time, right? And the Hornets are actually are interesting to watch this year. I think the Rockets are taking on the Lakers tonight too, huh? Let's go. We about <laughs> to find out. Remember, I told you it was gonna happen. Championship team. All bro, right, bro. We gonna even sit. We we'll, we we'll even sit out. LeBron let Carmelo good drop thirty on you. <laughs> All right, cool. We got we got history with Carmelo, so we'll see. It might, it's gonna be his revenge game on y'all. Well, revenge for game. trading him away. Yeah, yeah, we got rid of him. because he, yeah. he didn't want to play for y'all. Y'all are trash. Yeah, that's why he wanted China, right? But and then we got the last other game was gonna be the Detroit Pistons versus the Nets. I got the Pistons taking that one. What? The Pistons? Fuck no, man. Yep. Kevin Durant going to drop like 35. All when right. is Kyrie coming back? Cade Cunningham about to ball out again. You know, we didn't talk about Kyrie real quick, but Kyrie is actually, the, the owner said himself, he doesn't know when he's coming back. He yeah. doesn't know. Hey, but it, that, I heard that it wasn't up to them. It was like a team decision. So what is that? means Kevin Durant probably doesn't want him around Ke- to distract that, the team. That, that's fun. No, no, no. Kevin Durant actually said uh, that, that the team misses him. Because I think it was uh, on on the truth. I don't think Kevin Durant's like the right leader. I think Kevin, Kyrie Irving. That's Ky- Kyrie Irving's bro on that team. I I, t- I I actually think the opposite. I don't think that Kevin Durant is that leader or Kyrie because Kyrie was was Robin over there when LeBron. You think James Harden's the leader then? Hell no, he couldn't even do it. He's the, to be. That's funny you say that. It, it might not even be James Harden, but I think he's the one that has the most leadership skills. How you think of Steve Nash? Of course, it's Steve Nash. He's he's the glue. He's holding everything together. But and then and then what's funny is uh. Hey, but you know you know Brooklyn's special weapon though, right? He's a native. Uh, he came from San Antonio. See who you know who he is. No, I don't. It's what you eat at Whataburger. What? Patty. Patty Mills. Mills. <laughs> <laughs> he's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I do, but this guy, yeah, nah. you're right. He has been he's, going doing been pretty going, good. He's, doing, he's been going out, filling in for Kyrie. Yeah, yeah. So it makes no sense why they're not trading him already. I don't know. It's kind of weird situation going on. And then uh, last thing I'll talk about Ben Simmons. What do you guys think is gonna happen? I think yeah, I already said. Hey, I think but, Philly needs to just trade him, bro. But I mean, he's not getting fined right now because he's got like that. Mental. They stopped finding him. Yeah. After two million, they stopped finding him. So he 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 figured out he figured out chess loophole in the system. It's gonna get ugly, guys. It's gonna get ugly. So, uh, I, so mean, I mean, I mean, it's either pay that man to sit at home and do nothing, or uh, trade him away. Okay. Let's see what ends up happening. Yeah. All right, but yeah, Macho Sports Flex. Don't forget to strike out that like button, sack that subscribe button, and dunk your comment down below for us, you guys. Let us know how we did today. Hey, hold on, man. Let's place a bit before, you know, we get off. You know, you say go Rockets, right? All right. So you wear LeBron James jersey all game? Nah. No, no, no. We lose by, we lose, uh, we lose no more than 20. I want, I want to, I want points. Oh, you and I, uh, I say we lose anyway, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say we win. We lose. We lose the less than. Less All right, so look, look, look I, I got, a, I got a bet for you guys. Look, look, look. All right, so if the Lakers win by twenty, you got to wear a LeBron, LeBron jersey, jersey. on and the show. If we lose on the show, but if we lose then less than twenty, then he got to wear. He got to wear a Rockets jersey. Yeah. Matter of fact, pull out, pull out the vintage uh, Rockets jersey. Sway the one you used to wear before you were a LeBron, uh, LeBron fan. fan. Yeah. What the the Kim Olajuwon one? There you go. Whichever one, Tracy Whichever McGrady. One but, uh, but yeah. yeah, guys, like I said, don't forget to strike out that like button, sack that subscribe button, and dunk a comment down below. Let us know what you guys think about the show. Flexing out. <laughs>
work, work, then work again. What goes around comes around, cycle continuing. Mind on my money, I'm all about dividends. Only cats fight to you, all of your feelings, kid. Bumping tips and JR know that they feeling it. All in their mouth like a feeling is. Go bring a dentist in. I've been tuned in like I'm off of that riddling. Hop in that booth and start riddling. Any, many.